Welcome, one and all, to a new game. Uh, this is Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. A game that you can play with up to four people. Um, it's in pre-release on Steam. Uh, it's about ghost hunting. And um, I don't scare easy, and this game... This game can sometimes scare me. I'm still relatively new, as you can see by my level. Um, I need to add a strong flashlight. I don't remember. I have $20 to my name. What can I buy for $20? Um, I don't remember what I have. So, I have an extra flashlight. <laughs> Candle, crucifix, glow stick, head mounted lighters, motion sensor, parabolic mic, photo camera, salt, sanity pills, smudge. Sound sensor, thermometer, and tripod. Okay. Can't buy any of those. Actually, can't buy some of these at all because I don't have the required level. Salt. So the whole purpose of this game is that you investigate where ghosts are and, uh, Try to identify them so that you can uh, earn some money. And there's some other objectives and the ghosts do scary things. So if we walk around here, you can get an idea of what things are like. This is a, a VR capable game. Um, hey, lady. <laughs> gets me every time <laughs> but you know um i have some gripes with it i think a lot of people do but you know it's a thing so let's just jump right in let's go into an investigation uh we'll go to tanglewood street house it's one of the smaller houses and i'm still an amateur at this so we're gonna we're gonna play on amateur this time ready up and start See how long it takes before I run screaming for the hills. All right. Oh, there. I hate you, Windows. Oh, this is interesting. What do these things say? Uh, have you something something discharged from the army or navy? Oh, I wish this was a little clearer, but it looks like a survey of some description. We have some paranormal things over here. Nice set pieces. Ooh, I like that. Uh, like that this one's nice and crisp. Anyway, let's see here. So yeah, this game is basically about hunting ghosts. Uh, as always, I am your arcane rogue. Here's our house. We can see both floors. Uh, if we had sound sensors, their display would be there. This shows us the ghost activity as time goes on. Uh, there's no activity because we're not in the house. Uh, shows us the location of the breaker box, which is right there on the map. We could see the various rooms. That's the front door. So our objectives are to discover the type of ghost, prevent it from hunting with a crucifix, Witness a ghost event and find evidence of the paranormal with an EF EMF reader. Looks like the ghost's name is Patricia Moore. Only responds to people who are alone. Well, that's not a problem since I'm by myself. So, the mechanics of this game are unique. Um, you know what? I don't want to take the, the flashlight. 
Take the video camera. No, no, let's not take the video camera just yet. Uh, let's take the spirit box, which lets us talk to ghosts. And the EMF reader. So this timer here uh, is our setup time. It's the amount of time before, you know, the ghost really starts doing anything. And we click that and we can lower the gate to our truck. You know, for having $20, we have a really nice truck, really nice mobile thing here. Um, and we're going to go from there. Like I said, I usually don't get scared, but... Turn our flashlight on. See if we can find a ghost. Now, as we're in here, our sanity will start to drop. It would help if you turn the reader on, Rogue. So we will slowly go mad. Likewise, as we witness events of the paranormal. We could try to make the ghost angry by saying their name. Although, for some ghosts, just talking is enough. I'm gonna go ahead and close these doors. Key might come in handy. Ah, that's the cursed mirror. There are cursed objects in this game. One moment, viewers. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll have to join these videos in post because I accidentally cut the recording. Okay, so the cursed mirror says it's in the basement, because of course it is. Well, we definitely have EMF-3. Where are you? Okay. Let's go get more equipment. Oh, and let's start turning on the lights upstairs.
We can also open the cupboards. And we'll take this potato with a face. We'll save him from from the ghosties. You can see there was plenty of paranormal activity while we were in there. Our sanity has fallen a little bit. You could just stay there, potato boy. Okay. Let's prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix. Uh, no, we don't need the salt yet. <laughs> Bony. <laughs> well, let's take that. Well, actually, no, let's... Let's not take that yet. Journal. So we can use... We have different tools that we can use. Um, and, uh... We can get different evidence. So we just got a spirit box. Um, so we'll have to see what we have. We'll take in stuff for... Uh, ghost writing now and our setup time has elapsed so now the ghost can uh, it can attack us Apparently the ghost is old. I want to get some stuff to look for ghost fingerprints. So let's get that UV flashlight. And um, we'll bring in the camera at this point because uh, If there are fingerprints, you know, it might be useful to take a picture. We'll also take a picture of that cursed object. All right, let's see here. Can you show yourself? Give us a sign. Can you turn on the lights? Can you show yourself? Show yourself. Smile for a picture.
Take a picture. You want to take a picture? Will you take a picture? Will you let me take a picture? Ghosty? Can you turn on the lights? Can you turn on the lights? Hello? Where are you? Oh. Mad at me, that's what you are. Show yourself. Patricia Moore, show yourself. Patricia Moore, show yourself. Okay. I've only got two more pictures left on this camera. My sanity is very much suffering. <sighs> All right. Um, let's bring in the dots projector. And let's bring in the camera. This makes me wonder if it's it's got an EMF five capability. So our cameras can uh, see that we can toggle night vision on them. Um, and the dots projector here will Show us some, some dots. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Oops. Well, that was a ghost orb. Okay. Hello. Okay, and we'll put down the dots projector right here. And then because some ghosts are higher than others. We'll head back to the truck for a minute. <laughs> you can see the UV light through the screen or through the truck. Okay. 
So we will monitor this camera and we will see, yep, that's a dots projector. So let's pull up our evidence and dots and ghost. So this is a yokai. So if we go look at our ghosts, <laughs> yokais get angry the more you talk to them. <laughs> but that has fulfilled all the objectives for us. So I think it's time to cut our cut it and call it a day. Cause right now I need to earn money more than uh anything else. And in order to earn money, the ghost has to not kill me. Welcome back. That's some jobs ready. So you can see you get money for completing each objective. You can get some money for photos. There is a bone that spawns somewhere in the house, uh, in the investigation area, I should say, because it's not always a house that you can pick up. Um, and it also counts towards your picture goal, too. So I really should have looked for that before I left um but yeah this is a uh, super kind of creepy game and i don't know i hope you all enjoyed it uh enjoyed this little foray into it with me um i'll probably post a couple more play uh, uh individual sessions um before i do anything else oh good we're level four now um So, you know, um, oh, the ghost didn't hunt once. Well, that's because we use the crucifix, which speaking of, oh, hey, my crucifix is back. Oh, cool. So your equipment doesn't get used up just because you take it with you. It only gets used up if you get killed, I imagine. Well, that's good to know. But, whoops. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong key. That's okay. Hey, lady. <laughs> See, she didn't scare me that much this time. She doesn't show up more than once, I don't think, though. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? No. Okay. We can't turn our own power off. So, anyway, this has been uh, Phasmophobia. Let me know how you guys like this uh, by tapping that like button. Um, and uh, if you want to see more, uh, let me know by leaving a comment. Ah, there's a skeleton in this locker. We're just going to hide in here. So let me know, you know, uh, if you guys like this or if you don't. And if you don't, let me know that too in the comments, you know, so that I know never to post a video about Phasmophobia again. Um, I like this game. I'll probably play more of it. Whether or not I choose to share the playthroughs with you all is up to you uh, and up to the feedback I get, you know. Um, so just let me know how you feel. And uh, we'll do it. Oh, hey, we can see the pictures from the last hunt. Last few hunts. So, that's kind of cool. Well, that's the ghost picture I just took in this last, you know. So. But, anyway. Uh, I'm the Arcane Rogue, and this has been Phasmophobia. Let me know in the comments if you want me to post more of it. Um, you know? And uh, maybe we'll play together sometime. I don't know. Till then, I hope you have a wonderful day.